Hi everyone, this is Joseph from 4Fs Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I've been using the Pixel 6 for about 72 hours. I just want to give you an update on my experience, but before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I've been using the Pixel 6 for about 72 hours now, and I just wanna give everyone an update on my experience. I put my main SIM card in here on Wednesday, and it's Saturday afternoon, so I've been using it for a few days now, and I just wanna go over what I like and what I dislike about the phone. I'm really still trying to figure out, is the Pixel 6 the better deal than the Pixel 6 Pro, which is what, $300? more definitely trying to still figure that one out i did some camera tests on the pixel 6 stay tuned that video will be dropping very soon if i didn't already drop it all right like i normally do i'm gonna start off with the con i don't really have a con with this phone yet i'm really enjoying it the one thing i wish like i said on the pro i just wish the back was a matte finish this one doesn't show off your fingerprints as bad but i just wish that the back was a matte finish, like the Pixel 5 and the 5a. That's about the only kind I really have. I mean, you have some bugs with Android 12, but I know they will work that out. Also, the face unlock. I guess that could be another kind. I wish they just had face unlock. Now, the fingerprint scanner, just like the Pro, it is, you know, you do have to hold it down a little bit longer than you would do a normal fingerprint scanner, but it's getting better. It is what it is. A lot of people made videos on it. it. It's quick, it's pretty accurate. It just takes a little bit more time. Also, people mentioned to me in the video, they don't like the bezels. For me, it's not bad. I, I mean, I kind of used to it, I guess. The bezels are not really that bad. So that's not really kind for me. Now, what's the plus is the display though. The 6.4 inch 1080p panel, even though it's 1080p and it's an OLED panel, it's a great panel. The colors are bright. Watching YouTube with the stereo speakers, just like the Pro, it's an enjoyable experience. So that 1080p panel is probably one of the best 1080p panels I've seen on the phone. Battery life has been uh, pretty decent too. I can get through a good day on here. I take the phone off at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I can put it on the charge at about 10.30 and still have maybe 20 or 30%. So if I wanted to push it, I could make it through the morning time and a little bit next day, but usually I just charge it up for a couple hours and unplug it and I'm good to go. So the battery life has been really good. I don't really look at screen on time anymore. Can I get through the day? If I can get through a day with regular use, I'm good to go. And this battery is actually pretty good too. Now I can't wait until they do a little bit more tuning, get it a little bit more optimized. I think they can actually optimize this a little bit better and make the battery life even better. So if you see a video complaining about battery life on the Pixel 6 or 6 Pro, do me a favor, turn the video off. Turn it off, don't leave a comment, just move it on. Because if somebody's complaining about it, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. They trying to get views. The battery life is not bad on these phones. So that's just coming from me. If anybody has a disagreement, let me know in the comments because yeah, I can get through a day, day and a half, especially with the Pixel 6 Pro. Now I'm using this as a daily driver, making phone calls, speaker calls, using it as a phone is great. Speakers are great on this thing. Text messaging, Android 12 is great. No problems using this thing as a phone. The smoothness of the 90 Hertz refresh rate screen, again, the panel, is good. I, for me, I'm not a big display nerd or even saying, oh, this one is bad. I can't tell the difference between the 120 hertz and the 90 hertz screen to be honest, but that's just me. If you have both phones, let me know if you can tell the difference. For me, I can definitely not tell the difference. I don't really notice it. I guess I'm not a screen uh, snob like some people like to call themselves. Next thing, let's talk about the overall build. I enjoy the aluminum size here, the black um, like satin finish. I like that more than say the stainless steel of the 6 Pro, to be honest. I really do enjoy how 
this black and then also the seafoam color meets and I just I like I like the aluminum better than the stainless steel but that's just me again for a 6.4 inch screen it feels really good in the hands it's not it doesn't feel cheap it feels like a premium phone and it looks like a premium phone too look at that camera visor so overall the feel the build quality you have to love it it's actually great again the only thing i would change about the build would be the glassy back i wish it was more of a matte finish but again that's just me y'all let me know do y'all like the glassy back or do y'all want it more like a matte finish like the pixel 5 or something let's have a friendly discussion in the comment i'm gonna say the best for last the cameras again on here is great yes you're missing the telephoto lens as you can see right there no telephone lens but the rest of the cameras are the same as the Pixel 6 Pro. Overall, the camera's really good. I've been testing out the front camera too because that's a little bit different on the Pixel 6 and no problems on the cameras either. So the cameras are good, hardware is good, the experience with the phone is good. For $599, you get into the Google ecosystem and you get a premium build for that phone too. So. I don't think you can go really wrong with this phone. Now, if you want to spend the extra 300 for the Pro, that's up to you. I'm going to make a video comparing both of them coming up. So I'm going to save that discussion for another day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forza Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. Until next time, peace. I'm out. You have a great day.